What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. It's another day, and it's another hilarious embarrassment for fellow content creator Ethan Klein. Now, look, I greatly appreciate um, uh, what the man is has built between his podcast and his Twitch streams and his brand of children's clothes. These are all very big accomplishments that have netted him and his wife a lot of money, and you have to respect the hustle. There's no amount of criticism that will ever take that away from him. However, his unique brand of sanctimonious criticism is wearing thin on a lot of people, and now he's taken it to Twitch, and it immediately backfired on him. Not to say that some of the criticisms weren't warranted, as in my opinion, they are in some cases, but... There's something special about them coming from Ethan Klein, a man who is himself deeply flawed and has a long history of hypocrisies well cataloged on YouTube when they haven't been mysteriously flagged down. Um, but this time we had a hilarious um, backfire as H3H3 rejoined Twitch. And how does he do it? What does he want to do when he gets back on Twitch? Just start criticizing the largest streamers on there because that's what he does to get attention. Now, you might argue, Jeremy, isn't that what you're doing? Maybe I am. But that said, H3H3 rejoins Twitch and he's already flaming Aiden Ross, train wrecks, and more. Except the funny thing is, the man just doesn't have a position to uh, of, of moral superiority to speak on. You know... There are like laugh tracks of him dropping the N word on Twitter. There are numerous, numerous sketchy things that were done. Obviously, the very public stuff between him and Trisha. But this is this is a, a little more hilarious for me. Ethan is deeply immersed in internet culture. He shared his thoughts on everything from Bryce Hall's mental stability to James Charles' social media return. However, he even chimed in with Twitch affairs, including the hot tub meta and gambling streams. So it seemed like it was only a matter of time before he turned to the platform as he did on July 19th after announcing H3 TV, which he described as a daily entertainment stream where he'll react to everything that viewers provide understand that reaction con reactionary content is literally the easiest type of content to make i make it and i'm saying that i'm reacting to an article and to a person and there isn't any easier youtube job i can't imagine i suppose unless you're like a beautiful woman and you're doing like i don't know try on hauls or something like that this content the difficulty is in knowing what your viewers want to hear your opinion on, not in actually doing the work. So H3H3 launching another low effort uh, project uh, is no surprise to me. However, it wasn't long before he started taking talking about issues related to the platform and streamers, including Aiden Ross and Trainwrex for their involvement in various uh, Gamba streams. And of course, if you're going to cloud chase, you start at the top. First, he takes a swipe at... Aiden Ross, calling him a little punk, saying that kid has really been making me mad lately. The Gamba stuff and the crypto stuff. He's just not a good dude. I don't know him personally, but it seems like he's willing to do anything to make money off the back of his fans and laugh about it. Says the guy who deprived his fans of content on his main channel for like a year, said, you know, my depression only to release a video selling them a microtransaction mobile app. That was how he returned. Okay, so I don't have any problem with selling products to your viewers at all. Of course, the crypto stuff is, is not okay. Um, but you admit you don't even know him. You clearly aren't really that familiar with his content, and you say he's not a bad dude. Then he goes on, to criticize train wrecks. I've heard about this guy. He just gambles all day. I, fi I personally find this to be really, 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 really messed up. Wow, thanks, Ethan. Great job. Let's see what he's doing right now. Let's go check out train wrecks and get, get kids hooked on Gamba. However, when he tuned in, train wrecks wasn't gambling. He was playing Rust, after all. Despite being one of the most prolific Gamba streamers on the platform, it's not all he does. He still streams games. So you see this clip. That let me see if anyone's gambling right now. Let's see. 25,000 train wrecks. I've heard about this guy. So this guy just gambles all day. 
Now, I don't know all if you day, guys huh? are going to get offended, because I know you guys are all Twitch Denzians and stuff, but mm. I personally find this to be really, really, it's really... actually denizens. Really, really messed up, dude. Um, yep, just got to skip that ad, Ethan. Yeah, Can't no. let him make any money while you're making money off him. Let's see what I he's up it. to right now. Yep, okay, let's see. Let's watch let's train see. wrecks. Get kids hooked to gambling. It's yep. awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Here we Oops. Go. Oh, he's just playing video games. Okay, fuck me then. Oh, oh, whoops. Whoopsie. But it wasn't all about flaming other streamers. Ethan watched one of Amaranth's ASMR streams for the first time, and he was impressed. Dude, this is awesome. He said, watching her lick a microphone. He went on to say that he thought she was great and respected her hustle, but was shocked by the content and claims that it was very mostly spicy he'd seen on Twitch and believed it would be age-restricted on YouTube. Later in the stream, he sorted out his, his issue with Aiden via a conference call. He gave him the benefit of the doubt for his involvement in the crypto stuff. However, he still had stern words about him about Gamba streams. Wow, thanks, Ethan. Thanks for uh, your approval. Like, who anointed this dude the, uh, the moral compass? And finally, one person pushes back. XQC calls H3H3 shameless for his criticism of Twitch streams. Over the last few months, Gamba streams on Twitch have been put under the microscope and drawn criticism from different corners of the internet, particularly because they're being advertised to younger audiences. By the way, I 100% agree with this. I, I don't think um, that these streams should be uh, on Twitch. I just don't. Um, now, I don't know what Twitch's actual rules are on this. So, you know, I'm not saying it's in violation of anything uh, without actually seeing it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm saying I don't like it. Some of Twitch's biggest names have been called on the platform to outright ban the stream, some of them, and Gamba adverts. Yet, that is yet to happen. Twitch has remained pretty quiet on the subject. While he stopped doing the types of streams, admitted he became quite addicted while doing them, XQC has still been the subject of plenty of criticism, but now he's finally hit back. With H3H3's return to Twitch, by the way, him returning to Twitch is just to get his millions of followers to donate their free Twitch Prime sub to him. He's, that's just what it is. Um, XUC took a swipe at the claims regardless, asking why the streamers drawing criticism couldn't really defend themselves. You know what I think is hypocritical, though? With all the Gamba stuff, H3H3 makes a podcast with three other dudes out of the blue, right? And they have a terrible take about the whole Gamba thing. And a lot of them are truthful, but a lot of lies in there, he said. I asked to disprove some of the arguments. Nobody replies. They just throw everyone under the bus. It's a bunch of BS and don't even reply to get a counter argument. That's pure scum lord. Shameless. I mean, are you are you shocked? <laughs> Yo, no other thing is hypocritical though. Same slot, same slot, same slot. Yeah. That's just shameless. Same slot, same slot. Hmm. That's just and don't even reply to get a counter argument. That's just that's just that's just pure scum lord. Same slot, same slot, same slot. I don't disagree with them. Now I think that you know, Ethan is smart in that if he can go and kick the hornet's nest of a guy like Aiden Ross, who is leagues more popular than Ethan Klein, or XQC, who is leagues more popular than Ethan Klein, if he can get them talking about him, they tune into his show. That's ultimately, at the end of the day, what all this is about. And that's, hey, look, that's part of everyone's hustle. I, I mean, that's part of what we're all trying to do. We're all fighting for viewership. We all want you to view in, tune in, and we want you to subscribe and stuff like that. But there's something different. And I admit, obviously, I have bias. There sure feels like something different when Ethan Klein is moralizing over people. Um, I'm sure he would say the exact same thing about me. I'm sure he would dislike me uh, pointing that out because he obviously doesn't like me either. Uh, you know, and I thought there was at one time... There was one time where I thought maybe we'd be able to bury the hatchet, but the dude is just so hateful, just so angry all the time. I mean, he doesn't even know Aiden Ross from when I, he's never even met him and he's calling him a terrible person. Then he makes a, a, a claim about train wrecks and he's incorrect there. Um, and then he goes on to 
uh, and by the way, I thought this kind of stuff wasn't allowed on Twitch. I thought you weren't allowed to stream snipe, but I guess Ethan Klein gets to do that for subs. He gets to go and uh, kick the bee's nest of all the most popular streamers to quick. It's just smart business for him. But I, I don't think you can do this on Twitch from what I can from what I from what I understand. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Good luck uh, being the moral overlord of Twitch now that you've conquered YouTube, Ethan. I'm sure it will go well. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.